Good evening. Listen to me. Just let me drop this quick word for somebody in the room on the night. Let me hurry up and get this out before it is that the sun goes down and I lose the light. Listen, I need to tell you on tonight. You know, when Jesus is on the cross, uh, he, he says, uh, if I be lifted up, will I draw all man unto me? I got to tell you something tonight. Listen, you have to be careful in the assignment that is over your life because uh, the devil sees uh, not where you're going, not your future, but he sees the anointing over your life. It said Jesus is lifted to a high place on a high mountain. So there's a lot of people uh, that can talk uh, about him because they can see where he's at. Is that it is the higher up I go, the more attention that gravitates to my name is that they're talking about you because you're you're lifted. My God, is that the reason that your name stay in the street the way it does, the reason you're always hearing about yourself the way you are, the reason that they're posting about you the way that they are, the reason that you're under so much attack, my God, is not a bad thing, but because you're God has elevated you a little bit higher. My God, that's good for somebody tonight. Listen, if I can, I want to talk for a few seconds, just a few seconds from the topic. Uh, I am between it. I am, I am between it. I know what the enemy meant for evil, but God says, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all man unto me. Listen, I got to tell you that it's not just good things. Is that the enemy is attracted to your assignment and your anointing because he is not sure where your destiny lies. But he knows if the grace of God is over your life because you can't see into the spiritual does not mean the enemy cannot see into the spiritual. He absolutely can see if an angel is protecting you. He can absolutely see if there is an assignment over your life. He can absolutely see if the favor is God is a, is shining all over you because it is we become a light on the inside once we connect to the source, my God. And when the devil gets a hold of seeing there's a new light over there uh, in Huntsville, there's a new light over there in Tampa, there's a new light over there in California, there's a new light over there in Michigan, is that he can see that the lights are just popping up everywhere. And that's when he starts to dispatch the uh, demons, dispatch the adversity, dispatch uh, the fear, uh, dispatch uh, the depression, dispatch uh, the form of poverty, uh, dispatch whatever it is that would get you off track. Let me tell you, uh, the devil does not only just come to kill, steal and destroy my God, but the devil comes also when it cannot kill you. He cannot steal your peace. He cannot. He cannot um, destroy uh, what it is that your assignment is. He will distract you. And if you did not know that the devil will distract you, let me tell you anything that holds you up from fulfilling your purpose, from fulfilling your assignment. I don't care what it seems like in intent. It's not from God. Is that for God is is decent and in order. It is that everything has appropriate time, place, season and reason. That God would move you to a certain direction, but God is not going to force you. But the devil does whisper in your ear the influence from the roar. The Bible says he is but a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So anytime that I get off course, I get off track. I start looking at what's beside me, what's behind me, what's in front of me. I then start moving by what I can see. And the Bible tells us for I, I have you walk not by sight. But I want you to walk by faith. Listen to me. Let me turn on this air real quick because it's getting hot in here and y'all going to see me sweating in a second. Listen, you notice in the story where Jesus is on the cross, uh, he's lifted the way that it is because he had already predicted being lifted up, drawing everybody unto him. But one thing I think that we mislead uh, in the text here is that he is beside a thief and a robber. He is beside somebody that's, that uh, believes him to be God, know him to be God, but then doubts uh, in form of talking against the process uh, is that the thief I mean the robber on the left says if you be the son of God go ahead and save yourself and in the process save me too so you have to be careful of those people that want to push you to a place and drag themselves along but they, they won't ever uh, help themselves out and pull you along listen let me drop this word for somebody in the room on today you have to stop start I'm sorry you have to start stop Stop being there for everybody who's not there for you. I know that sounds a little worldly. I know that sounds a little unspiritual, but I tell you, that's real. 
is that it is that God is moving you to a place of destined ending. And it is we want to drag everybody alone from where we are right now. And maybe God opened the door for them to be in this season. But if they become a hindrance in distraction for them, if they become a hindrance in delay for them, if they become a hindrance in discouragement, it is that they need to be left in last season. Why is it uh, that I can always come to you uh, and I'm responding? I'm, I'm, I'm answering the phone. I'm, I'm, I'm calling back. I, I, am, I am absolutely at your disposal. But when I need help, it's always you do it and drag you alone. It's, it's, I call you for $5. I end up having an overdraft loan you 30 it is that I, I need encouragement uh, and I end up uh, pouring the little bit of, of life that's left in me to encourage you. How, how, how is it uh, that it is that I come to you for advice and, and I end up uh, being the shoulder you crying on? Is that, man, it's draining, it's distracting. Uh, it would be eluding from my purpose and my destiny and my assignment. And I would think that because uh, I'm there to support this is from God. And whole time the devil was in the background saying, I got him yet again distracted from his purpose. Had, had he been on his call, had he been on his assignment, he would have saved the life. If, had, had, he, had he been where he was supposed to be, oh my God, he could have portrayed that word to somebody else. Be, be it that uh, you were on your assignment, you would have not missed, my God, the divine connection that was supposed to lead you into your next doorway. The devil does, does only come but to kill, steal, and destroy and distract if you did not know. Well, he is distracting you from everything that God has for you. But my Bible tells me that if we lift him up, he'll draw all man unto him. But he's drawn a robber and a thief. He's drawn somebody that would know him but doubt him. That would, that would seemingly know him but not trust him. Somebody that can talk about it, but never perform in it. I'm, I'm tired in this season of folk that can just talk about uh, where they going. Is that if, if you ain't moving in this next season, if, if you ain't building in this next season, if, if, if all you doing is talking about the dream, if all you doing is talking about what you gonna have, if all, all you doing is talking about what you about to get ready to do, listen, let me tell you something, I'm tired of you talking about it. I, I, I don't know about your other friends. I don't, I don't know about your other connections. I don't know about your other acquaintance, but I'm friend enough to say, stop talking and start building. Stop, stop talking and start walking. I'm, I'm friend enough to say enough is enough. Either you gonna get down or I've got to leave without you. Listen, that's, that's on the left. On the right side of me, I have I have a thief, somebody that, that's constantly taken from me. I'm constantly given to them. Um, is that every time they come around, they, they sleek stealing something. Oh, my God, they're, they're s slick stealing something. My, my, I, got it. I, I got it, I got it right that time. They're, they're, they're always uh, in the bathroom. They're, they're always uh, uh, shaking when I walk into the room. They're always jumping uh, when I... With when I ask for the phone, they they they're always doing something a little a little shaky, a little shifty in their spirit. Is that we we're connected to people that will keep us on high alert, uh, but it is that they're a thief in intent. For the enemy comes, but in a few forms, and he'll be laying beside you, he'll be sitting beside you, he'll be eating breakfast with you, he'll be working right beside you, he'll he'll be your coworker, your customer, and your manager. My God. Is that it comes to steal a little bit of joy at a time. He'll come asking questions like, what did God say about this? And what does this passage mean? What does, what does that one mean right there? And the whole time we're thinking, let me pour into him because this is divinely dividing the word of God. And it is before you can even get the interpretation. They're like, see, I knew you was going to say that, though. And then I thought about this. If you knew why you asking me stupid questions. If, if, if you know the Bible, why don't you read for yourself? If, if you're so connected, why are you asking me and not God? Listen to me. It's that the devil comes to kill, steal, destroy, and distract. So I am now between a thief and the robber. Consequently, in my faith, I would be in the same predicament. I am between 
people trying to play me and folk trying to take something from me. Either, either this current season, listen to me, this, this ain't for everybody. This is just for a few people who can be real in a room on a day to say, all my connections, all my connections bad. If everybody that can pour into me is draining me. If, if everybody I speak life into, keep it. Is that when I'm dying, I got to do it to myself. Is that when, when I need help, I got to pull myself up. When, when I can't register, when, when I can't find a heartbeat, when, when I need a shoulder to cry on, when, when I can't find anybody, I... I got to rely on my own flashlight. I got to I got to find that inward place inside of me that that connects to the source. I, I got to pull myself up by my own bootstraps. I'm I'm tired of getting myself out of this hole, but I've helped everybody else out. I've I've, I've dug myself deeper in here uh, because uh, it is that I would help you out and then I fall in and you run off. And I'm trying to find out where, 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 where is everybody that was calling me when they needed help? But nobody answers when. When I need it, I'm, I'm, I'm between coming out of this season of being connected to a thief and the robber. I, I'm, I am between uh, should I obey God or should I leave everything alone? Should I, should I keep on my assignment or should I go ahead and give up? Should I, should, should I go ahead and dump the relationship or should I try and put more investment in what I already have going on at home? Should I, sh- should I go ahead and leave the job or should I ask for a promotion? I, I, am, I am between in the situation and I need to know God what is it that I need to do in this season listen to me you know you're between it if it's either playing you or taking from you man if I ain't talking to you I'm talking to that dude in the back seat behind you listen to me somebody in this season of your life is the exit door listen to me God is moving you from where you are right now to where you need to be. Prove it, preacher. The, um, the, the robber realizes God is who he is, but then attaches the problem most people have of being prideful. So he would say, I know who you are, but I'm going to pretend like you ain't who you is. Listen, I'm I'm entering to a season of my life right now where it is that I am exactly who you think I is. My, my God is, is if you think I'm different, yeah, 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 I'm acting different. If, if, if you think I'm stuck up, then I'll, I'll be all of that. If, if, if you think I'm too good, then I am way too good. If, if you think I think I'm bougie, then, then Call me Bougetto because I am everything that you think. Whatever it is that you say in this season, listen, I got the energy for it. I got the time and, and, and I got the patience, man. Come on with it because, Doc, there ain't nothing that you can deliver, my God, that God can't bring me out of, that God can achieve me in, and God cannot transform while I'm in it. Listen, Jesus didn't even have to respond to him. He was like, whatever. You say is whatever you say is that the thief on the left speaks to the robber on the right. I'm sorry. The thief on the right speaks to the robber on the left and says, be quiet. This the son of God right here. And you know that because we ain't he ain't done nothing wrong, but we deserve to be here. He then turns to Jesus, listen and says, Lord. Remember me. When you come into your kingdom. Listen, I know this is powerful. It talks about the man being saved. But I got to tell you, nowhere else in the Bible do we find it talking about if the man made it to paradise. We we find here in the story where where they pierced Jesus in the side, where he hung his head and he dies, where they put him in a tomb and he raises back to life. Nowhere do we find where it talks about the thief on the cross. There are some people that were good to you. There are some people that, that you want to remember. Listen, there are some people that were connected to you in this season. 
uh, that would seem ordained, that would that would seem allocated, that would for your next season, that would seem anointed for what it is that you're going for the season that you were in. Uh, things prospered when they was around. Things worked out good when they were around. And 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 I want to remember the old relationship and I want to remember the old person that they were to me and how good they made me feel and the things we used to do together. There are some people, my God, you have to leave right where they are. But I appreciate you your acknowledgement. I I appreciate it is your your defending me. Listen to me now. I appreciate whatever you've done for me in that season. But in the season where I'm going, listen to me, I cannot be connected to anybody who's a thief. That's that's not an insult. That's a call for implication. That's a call for informative information. That's a call for transformation. If there be no change, I don't need a thief connected to me. For it is that they would come in the form of somebody on your side. And God said at the end of the day, leave them right there. They're still a thief. He said, I'll pray for you. I promise you a spot. Next to me it is when you've changed, when you're delivered, when you're set free. Because the transformation has to happen. If not, listen, God can save you. I can only say to you, God can save you. Anything beyond that is not my calling, not my assignment. It is not for my season. Is that it is I'm leaving, I'm exiting where it is. I'm between stuff. So, so I'm never anymore in this new season between bills. God is moving you beyond being between paychecks, being between opinions, being, being, being between uh, debt being paid off and debt rising. He said, you're no longer between degrees is that I'm delivering you to a place where it is where you can find sanctity and sanctity in what it is I've called you to. Listen to me. You're no longer between uh, either having uh, a boyfriend or being single. You're, you're no longer between uh, almost being a man and being a husband. You're, you're no longer between. Uh, being a registered assistant and being a nurse. You, you're no longer between uh, a grad school, my God, and and going to uh, uh, get your basic. Uh, you, you, you're no longer between uh, should I finish high school or should I get my GED? You, you're no longer between uh, interim uh, and then a manager. You, you're no longer between in the base spot of where it is that you were. It's that God is moving you to a place where those things are dead. Get ready to resurrect in the person that God is projecting for you to be. My God, I pray that speaks to you on tonight. Listen, sometimes we find ourselves in life in a place where we put ourselves at. Where we would die for the people that are connected to us because we feel like it is divine ordination that we stand in the gap and be the task for what it is that somebody needs in their life. God told me to tell somebody in the room on today, they may be braiding you money, they may be pouring and expending into your life, but let me tell you something, if they can only put into you tangible things, where it is in this season, God is moving you to being a spiritual being, where if they cannot connect with you spiritually, they need not be connected to you in this season. Listen, I love you. More importantly than that, beyond what I can, beyond what anybody else, you need to know, rest, develop in the fact that God loves you. Listen, you, you be encouraged tonight. Encourage yourself. Know that God loves you. You love you. Love on somebody else. Y'all have a good one, all right?